Hello girls and mothers. This is the JV Winter Guard makeup application video. Again, this is for JV only. Remember, before you start, you need to have a washcloth, you need to have some paper towels handy, and remember not to start flipping out if you make a mistake. Mistakes are already, always correctable. Um, make sure that you're applying your makeup before you put your costume on because you don't want to get any of the makeup on your costume. Also, um, we have found that the Mary Kay products work really, really well under performance conditions. You can use other things and uh, compare and contrast our colors. Um, we do recommend that you get the colors from Mary Kay so that all the colors match from girl to girl. Um, if you do plan to uh, buy the Mary Kay products from me at 40% off, which is my cost, you need to have your forms in by tomorrow, which is Monday, January 28th. All right, we're back with our model for the JV Winter Guard makeup application. This is Miss Wilkerson, Hi. and she's going to be our model for today. If you look on your sheet, step one is cleansing. We're going to use the uh, oil-free eye makeup remover with Mary Kay. Um, it looks oily, but it's not. And how you apply it is you're going to shake it up to activate everything. Use a cotton pad and fill it about halfway full. And what we're going to do is she's going to close her eye and we're just going to lay this on her eye for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, all of her eye makeup will just come right off on the cotton pad. Still on number one cleanse, we're going to wet Jackie's face with cold water. It's always best to wash your face before you apply makeup with cold water because it tightens up your pores so the makeup doesn't get all the way in your pores. We're going to wet her face with cold water. Then we're going to give her some cleanser on her hand. And she's going to apply the Time Wise Age Fighting Cleanser. Um, she's going to lather it up on her fingers. And she's going to apply in upward so circular motions on her face. Jackie has returned with a very clean face <laughs> after cleansing. Our next step is going to be moisturizing. Please don't apply any kind of makeup before moisturizing. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer. We're going to give her a little bit on her fingertips. And she's going to also apply this in circular motions all over her face, on her eyelids, and on her neck. All right, step number three on your sheet is talking about foundation. And remember, we want you to use a cream foundation and not a liquid foundation. This is the Mary Kay Cream Foundation. This is Ivory One to match Jackie's skin color. I'm sorry, Ms. Wilkerson's skin color. Um, and it looks like this. Okay, and what we'll be doing is you can apply this with your fingertips or a sponge. When I'm putting my own makeup on, I just use my fingers. But when I apply on somebody else's skin I use a sponge so we'll just lightly get some color on the sponge and we'll be applying the uh, foundation in downward strokes on her skin okay we're still applying uh, Miss Wilkerson's foundation please make sure that you blend up into the hairline also make sure you blend into your ears and make sure you blend into the neckline so that you don't have any lines and the last thing that I want you to remember is to, you do need to apply foundation over your eyelids, also in the crease of your nose and over your, uh, right above your lips. Step number three, oh sorry, step number four is what we're on now. Step number four is your concealer. Um, your concealer is going to come in a little tube and today we're using on Miss Wilkerson um, the Ivory 2. You're going to put a little bit, little bit on your third or fourth finger. I'm going to have her actually look straight up and we're going to blot and dab right up under her eye. Just like so. And we're going to leave that there for a second and then have her close her eye and apply on top of her eye. This uh, concealer is going to make your eye pop and be brighter and make your eye appear to be larger. It also is going to help your eye color stay on by having this base on. I'll just continue to pat in circular motions until it's all blended. Okay, the other thing that you're going to do with concealer is um, we just went all the way around her eyes. Next thing what we're going to do is cover up any kind of discoloration or uh, blemishes. And all you're going to do is barely touch the blemish or discoloration. 
You're going to pat it with a little bit of color, and then it's just going to disappear. So you pat it with a little bit of color. Circular motions, just keep patting, and then it disappears. And it definitely disappears after we do the um, um, pressed powder. Okay, step number five is your pressed powder, and we want to use pressed powder and not loose powder. The pressed powder I'm using is Mary Kay, and this is the Ivory II color, and it looks like this. And we use a large fl fluffy brush to get the powder on. You want to apply a large, generous portion. And then we're going to start up top and sweep over her forehead and go into the hairline sweep over the eyelids and notice I'm using downward strokes that is very important so you're gonna kinda pat and sweep down you wanna go all the way in your neck as well because you will go into your neck with your foundation basically everywhere you applied foundation is where the powder goes step number six is your eyeliner for the first time we're using our Mary Kay eyeliner um, I like this eyeliner because it's nothing that you're going to have to sharpen with a pencil sharpener. It just rolls right up. It's very creamy. And the other thing we like about it is it is waterproof, which is very, very important with color guard stuff. Um, we're going to apply. She's going to close her eye for me. And I want you to apply your eyeliner from the corner of your eye all the way to the other corner. Inner corner to outer corner. This can be a very rough line drawn. You just want to get the initial line drawn. We're actually going to be covering this up in just a second, and then we'll draw it again. Step seven are your eye colors, and this year we're only using one eye color. It is crystalline. Looks like this. It's kind of an ivory color, but it does have a sparkle to it, so if you are, you are going to try to match that shade, make sure you get something that's sparkly and not matte. Um, again, don't worry about any eye color that falls on your cheek. While you're applying, we can just brush that off with our powder brush later on. Um, I like to use a pretty full eye brush. Um, you need to get it nice and full because your directions are that it needs to be applied in an opaque way. Opaque just simply means that hopefully we're going to get it so dark on her skin that we're not going to be able to see any more skin through the eye color. Okay, so as you can see, still with the eye color, this is the eye that we've applied the color to. This is about what it needs to look like. That was probably about 10 coats of color, and I still have plenty left. Um, obviously, this eye has not been um, applied yet. I just wanted you to see the difference between the color of um, just the foundation skin and the eye color skin. Finishing up step seven, going into step eight, if you do happen to get some of your eye color uh, down here, you just take your uh, powder brush and you just sweep it away and clean it off and it should just sweep right, right away. As you see now, both of her eyes are made up in the crystalline eye color. Our next step is going to be to go back to your uh, eyeliner your black eyeliner. This is going to be a pretty thick line with eyeliner above and below. Um, so I'll do one eye for you. Pretty thick. You want to come out to the corner a little bit more than you actually would, or than you normally would. And then I'm going to darken that in actually in a second. And I'm going to have her open her eye and if you're doing this to someone else, this is the best way to do someone else's under eye. Is We're going to have her open her eye and look up. And we're going to start from the inner. To outer. And right now I'm just sketching it in. But in a second I'll darken that in for you. So obviously this eye is what you're going for. Um, with your large black lines on the upper lid and on the uh, lower lid. This eye we have not done yet, but I just wanted to give you a contrast to see what one eye looks like over the other eye. When we come back, we'll have the other eye finished for you. Okay, step eight are your eyebrows. Um, if mamas allow you to, and if you've got some kind of scraggly eyebrows or eyebrows in the middle right here, it'd probably be best to either get them waxed or to pluck them. 
Um, let me give you some tips in plucking, though. You want to go just along your natural um, eye eyebrow line and just get the, the ones that want to play solo. Um, and, and don't go crazy and try to get really thin eyebrows because actually right now, thicker eyebrows are in. Um, so, that's something to keep in mind. Um, she's just got some straggles and it's good to have some good sharp tweezers. So I'm going to go in there and try to clean her up just a little bit. And the quicker you do it, the less it hurts. Still on step number eight with your eyebrows, um, you can use an eyebrow pencil or you can just use an eyeliner that matches the color of your hair. Right now I'm going to use um, a, just a brown eyeliner since she has brown hair. And basically what you want to do is you want to heavily fill in the natural structure of how your eyebrows grow. And basically just color in right over the eyebrows. just where they naturally grow. The next step that we're going to do, and I'm, I will finish the other eye in just a second, but the next step you're going to do is with your um, eyebrow brush, you're just going to blend exactly what you just did into the eyebrow and into the skin. And I like doing one eye and then showing you the difference between one eye and the other eye. It just makes, simply makes the eyebrow pop more or sorry, makes the eye pop more than this eye. Okay, step number nine is your mascara. Um, with your mascara, you need to use a waterproof mascara. Either if you're going to get it from me, that's fine. If you're going to get it from somewhere else, that's fine as well. You need to apply two to four coats on your upper lashes and two, about two to three coats on your lower lashes. And I'm just going to give you a little hint right here. When you do your lower lashes, when you do your upper lashes, you want to use a this motion type motion. When you, use, when you apply to your lower lashes, you don't go like this. You just simply put the brush right up against your lashes and shimmy it back and forth, and the color will get on there, I promise. So when we come back, we'll see Miss Wilkerson, Wilkerson with mascara. Step number 10 is applying our cheek color, but before we do that, your... Uh, Instructions are going to tell you to dust your face with more uh, pressed powder. And this is going to get any kind of eye color that did kind of dash down on any other part of your face and seal everything yet again. So we're going to dust with more pressed powder. Then we're going to get our berry brown color uh, that we have decided that you all need to wear. This is my cheek blush uh, brush, I guess I should say. What you're going to do is you're going to swipe a couple of times, and this is why you need a paper towel. Then I'm going to blot on the paper towel just a little couple of times. And then we're going to start with her upper ear and come on down and just swoop. This needs to be probably twice to three times as much as you would apply every day, um, but not exactly like war paint. And again, we're going to touch it a couple of times to our color. We're going to blot, and then we're going to come back over here, start right above your ear, come down where your cheekbone is, just to accentuate the cheekbone, swoosh and blend. Let's apply a little bit more. Look straight at me. There we go. And she's a little war paint right now, so what I'm going to do is take my um, powder brush and kind of blend in circular motions so that it's not so harsh. And there we go. There's our blush. Number 11, your very last step, is your lip gloss. Your lip gloss color is this light pink color. Um, and it is on, you can find it on your Mary Kate order form if you would like to order the same color. This lip gloss will last you, if you apply it every day, at least a year and a half. It will last forever, so you'll get good use out of this. Um, we're going to have Miss Wilkerson apply her own lip gloss, and we'll show you the finished product in just a second. This completes the video for the JV Guard look. As you can see, Miss Wilkerson has transformed uh, into our JV Guard look. Um, the only thing we need to do to Miss Wilkerson is to do the poof up here and the ponytail. 
Um, please remember, guard members and guard JV guard parents, that we do have the link on our YouTube channel for the hairstyle. So please watch that video as well, and that'll lead you step by step to show you what to do um, and how to make the poof and how to make the ponytail. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, just email me.